Alright. So now I got a little bit more space on my phone. But yeah, you know, like I was saying, um, this year has been pretty busy. Uh, been slowing down a whole lot. Last uh, probably 30 days or so. We haven't had much rain, so everything's really dry and stuff. And a lot of my clients don't water their lawns, so, you know. They got no water, don't grow. <laughs> but I tell you what, earlier this year, though, I was slammed. I mean, I got to a point where it was, it was overwhelming for me. You know, I had so many clients, I couldn't keep up, uh, you know, trying to make everybody happy. And it wasn't that, that it was, you know, trying to make everybody happy, like doing bad jobs or something like that. It's just, you know, when you've got, when you're working every day and um, then you get other people that want other stuff done, like, like mulch and stuff. And I've only got the one trailer. So, you know, it's like if I say I get a load of mulch at, at you know, at night or something, you know, before I head out, um, you know, or, or say, I, you know, say if I get a load of mulch then I couldn't, you know, you can't go out and cut grass and then do the mulch at the end of the evening or whatever because, you know, the mulch place closes at, like, 5 o'clock. So it's not, you know, so, like, you can still cut grass past 5 o'clock. Um, and, uh, you know, I would try to go out and get the mulch. Then that way I don't have to go out in the morning and get it and then, you know, load up. Or, or say, if you do load up with the mulch, then you got to come home, clean off your, your, tra your trailer, you know, and then put the mowers on and, you know, and or say you got tree limbs or something, you know, like I would do some tree limbs or, or trim up some trees or something at the end of the day or close towards the end of the day. Well, you can't you can't unload the trees until the next morning because the place again, the place closes at like five o'clock. So, um, you know, one thing I'd like to, to do is is get me another trailer just for for instance like that. Uh, you know, I'd like to be able to. Um, just come home and load, um, and switch trailers and, and be good to go. Um, plus, you know, I had, uh, my truck broke down on me. Well, not really broke down, but it got, it got sick on me a couple of times. You know, I had a, I got a flat tire on one time and, and then, uh, had to get a, had to get, um, uh, brakes and, uh, shocks and tire, tire rod, tire, tire rod, tire rod. And, uh, then I had to get a fuel filter and uh, the fuel filter, I had to, when I went, I got the truck, you know, I got AAA, so <clears throat> I had the truck towed to my house, and then I had to have pay to get the trailer towed, and then, um, so I could figure out what was wrong with my truck, because it just wouldn't start, and uh, so when I figured out what was wrong with it, I had to get a tow to take it to the shop, well, after a few days or so, whatever, it, it, my battery ended up dying, so I had to pay so much money to get another battery, then I had to pay like a shop fee, then I had to pay a tow fee, then I had to pay all this extra money just to just to just to get on the road, you know, and uh, that put me behind. And uh, I had a couple of clients that I, you know, gained this year. Well, you know, they weren't were, you know, most of my older clients that I've had for years, you know, they understand that I'm not going to just not show up to their house. But some of the newer clients that I that I'd gained, you know, they weren't under the they were just like. You know, they call, oh, well, are you going to be able to show up to my house? And it's like, well, you know, I mean, I, uh, my truck's in the shop right now. You know, oh, well, you know, we want our yard cut this week or, you know, we want our yard. You know, it's been it's been almost, you know, it's been a week since you haven't cut our yard or, or whatever, because this was back when it was raining a lot. So, you know, I had to, it would it would be times like like I know I had one client. She called me like on Thursday or Wednesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I can't remember. She's like, hey, you know, can you come and cut my yard on Saturday? And I was like, yeah, sure. No problem. I can schedule you in. No big deal. Well, then it rained two days in a row, so I wasn't able to come and cut her yard. And I called her and I told her, I said, you know, I, I told you that I was scheduled to come and cut your yard on, on Saturday, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it. I might be able to get you in on Sunday. Oh, well, that's not acceptable. You know, I'm not going to be at home on Sunday, and I, don't, I would like to be able to pay you at the time of service, which is not a big deal for me. I mean, hey, I would rather you pay me at the time of service than wait. But at the same time, people got to understand that, you know, you're not they're not your only client. I mean, you have other clients, especially if you're behind. I mean, especially if you weren't able to cut for two days. Um, and I don't have a problem cutting in the rain. Like if it rained, say if it rained at 8 o'clock in the morning until 12, then I don't have a problem going out after it's raining. But I'm not going to go out 
in the pouring rain and cut grass. I mean, you just get soaking wet. I mean, and when you're riding around on the mower, I mean, you just, you just, it, the water just sits there and it's, it's like your, your lap's a bucket, you know. And I, I was on my walk behind one time cutting and in the rain and, uh, you know, and that was no fun. <laughs> it wasn't no fun at all, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's part of the business, though. You know, a lot of people don't understand, especially when you're starting out, you know, which I'm not saying that I'm, like, very professional. I mean, not not saying I'm not very professional. Very, been in the business a long time, you know, um, but it's a learning experience. And um, that's one thing that I've, I've, I've learned is that the more you're in business, the more you, you learn stuff, you know. And again, this is not like a how-to video or I'm not telling you how to how to, to run your business or anything like that. I'm just sharing some experiences that I've learned this year that will help me better off next year, you know. <clears throat> you know, um I'm just learning, just learning as everybody else is, you know, um, because when you, when you sit home <clears throat> and you watch YouTube videos and you watch a lot of these guys, um, you don't, you don't really get your hands dirty just by listening to other people. I mean, honestly, the best learning policy is to get out there and to get the work done. You know, I'll sit here on some of these forums and stuff and you see a lot of people and they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to have to get me a part-time job or I'm going to have to. You know, I might might not cut yards next year because I didn't make as much money as I thought. And it's like, well, I mean, you know, it, it's not like it's just that easy where you just be like, oh, yeah, you know, twenty five dollar yards, hundred dollars a day. I mean, yeah, if you get the yards, you're going to make a hundred dollars a day. If you got twenty five yards and you can go out six days a week, you know, four yards a day or whatever. I mean, you can you, you'll you make a hundred dollars a day. But if you don't have the yards, if you haven't advertised to get the business, then you, the money's just not going to rain down on you. It just doesn't happen that way. Um, it, it's not that easy. You know, not saying that lawn care is, is super duper hard. I mean, you know, and especially once you start running a business. I mean, there's a difference from just going out and cutting yards, you know, knocking on doors and saying, hey, you know, would you like your yard serviced or whatever. There's a, there's a lot of difference between doing that and actually getting out there and running a company and, and having to pay your insurance and having to, to, to maintain your, your equipment and having to, you know, to, 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 to figure out where your money's going to go so that you can in, uh, invest in your business. I mean, it's hard to invest in, in a new trimmer or a new backpack blower or a new trailer or a walk behind. It's hard to do that when, if your truck breaks down. you got to spend $1,500 to get your truck fixed because that $1,500 you could have applied towards equipment, you know, and you've got to have extra money behind. You've got to have money set aside just in case something like that happens. Because what happens if you don't, if you're, if you're working and you make a hundred dollars a day and you're spending $70 a day, you know, just, just because it's, because it's, it's not like you're going to work. It's not like a job where you work and you work in and you get paid and then you can go spend your money. I mean, when you're a business owner, you've got to pretty much not spend your money. I mean, and it's hard to do that. I mean, if you're going to spend your money, you got to invest it in stuff that's going to generate more money in. And it's, it's, it's difficult to do that. Um, you know, start now. I mean, it, it's difficult to do that, especially if you got bills, house payment and, and, and truck payment. And, and, you know, or especially for the people that, that go out and finance equipment. Oh my goodness. I mean, I feel for the guys, some of these guys that go out and finance everything that they, they start out with because what happens is 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 you you don't necessarily make anything. I mean, every all your money that you that you're making, you're pretty much having to pay for your equipment that you bought. And then say something breaks down, which I mean, most time when you buy something new, it doesn't break down. But what happens if it does? You know, I mean, yeah, you might be under warranty, but I mean, you still got to be out not working. You know, I mean, especially if you only have like one more. Or say you just buy a brand new truck and your truck breaks down and you don't have a backup truck. Well, what do you do, you know? And, uh, that's down. Let's see her. Put that in there like that. You know, but, um, it, it's just, that's just part of it, you know, and, uh, you know, um, it's part of the business. I mean, it's just part of it. Any business, even if it's a 